let's see here. Cute cats. Images. Oh, that cat. I would love to use that in my next upcoming thumbnail. Oh, wait. It, never mind. It's too bad it is not transparent. Well, just gonna keep looking then, I guess. Okay, so that was me a couple of years ago, a couple of months ago, and I was very confused and, and I didn't know what to do whenever I found a picture that I wanted to use in my, let's say, thumbnail, and it wasn't trans transparent, it was basically just a normal image, and uh, I was just very mad that I couldn't use the best images uh, for my thumbnails, and I eventually just ended up picking another <laughs> picture, obviously. But now I've stumbled upon this awesome website that I just want to share with you all because it's such an awesome website that saves you a lot of time in case you remove backgrounds in, in uh, let's say, Photoshop websites and such. It just, it basically takes seconds. We're talking about 10 seconds after you have downloaded an image. So leave a like if you found, if you find anything helpful really just anything and subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications on to get notified of future uploads from this channel but now i'm not gonna talk anymore let's do this all right so first off you obviously want to download the actual image that you are going to use at, or that you want to remove the background on so in this tutorial it is this little cute cat right here so we're gonna, just gonna download the image real quick so we get so we got that done and now like that once it is downloaded we want to search for a website called remove.bg and i will leave a link for this in the description so you can come to the website in one click that's awesome right um but now over here we can see remove image background 100 percent automatically and free so essentially speaking the program does everything for you you basically don't have to do anything manually and it is totally free to use you don't have to pay a single penny that's incredible right now over here we can uh, upload an image like this from directly from from your computer or you can drag and drop like this just uh, just like this and it will start to remove the background and only seconds later the background on the image that you just dropped are is gone and in case you may not be very satisfied with the results on the um, background remover you can always just press on edit over here erase slash restore and then you can restore i've restored the parts of the Im image that were that were removed or you can erase stuff from from the image that you basically didn't don't want so let's say that I, I don't want the ears they weren't supposed to be there then i can just erase them now, of course you can also make the make zoom in like this so it becomes easier and change the brush br brush size just very easily like that and if we go over to the background tab over here we can add blur but then you will need to know that the uh, the background that you made transparent will not be transparent anymore like this so i'd recommend you maybe not have any blur and to undo it which i actually want to do then you just press on this little this, this little arrow, arrow right arrow right there and we got that back back as if as we would like it so now over here we can also actually add some cool green screen features i image uh, you, you either can choose a theme from their their selection their gallery of pick images that you want to be in the background this is just a little fun feature that i'm showcasing by the way and then you can also select a photo from your computer that you want to add in the background so let's say i want to add this image again i don't know that that was pretty dumb but, but uh, let's say i want to add this one then we can see stream of the stream elements text in the background that's pretty pretty easy to do actually and you can also one last thing here add different transparent colors now uh, once you, you once you feel like you're satisfied with the look of the the image and uh, then you just press on it download and it will start downloading to your computer right there and if we look at the result like this boom we have the transparent background and this thing that i 
that I wrote that I restored from the image but uh, obviously it will look look much better when you do it because I just tested out some nice all, all of the features features in one in one picture uh, you can essentially just just drag and drop it like this very easily and then and then download it like that and it will start downloading in one second so this is by far the best website to, for to use to remove backgrounds and also it has some small little photoshop elements added into the website that you can use so if you're not very if you're not very experienced with photoshop websites then this is a small little photoshop i guess you could say but i don't know i hope this helped either way if you got any questions leave them in the comment, comment section down below i will try to help you out and i do answer my comments i actually do now uh, leave a like subscribe to the channel with the bell notifications on to get notified of future uploads from me well with that said see you in the next video storks uh, out